When a base reacts with water, it forms its conjugate acid. How is that conjugate base, conjugate acid expressions related? Well, let's look at it for a case of NH3, a weak base. Here it is reacting with water to form NH4 plus its conjugate acid. And I can write an equilibrium constant expression for that reaction. Here it is, the product concentrations, NH4 plus, OH minus, and the reactant concentrations, NH3. And in this case, as in all cases, we leave out pure water. Pure liquids and pure solids don't appear in equilibrium constant expressions. So here I have Kb for NH3, the weak base. The weak acid produced NH4 plus can also react with water. And I could write a K for that, a Ka. Now, what's the relationship between Ka and Kb? If I take the product of Ka times Kb, you'll notice NH4 plus concentration cancels, and NH3 concentration cancels. And what I have is Kb times Ka is H3O plus times OH minus concentration. And that is always a constant in water. It's Kw. So here we have an analytical expression that tells us the larger Kb, the smaller Ka. A strong conjugate base leads to a weaker conjugate acid.